There was nothing out here when I got here. So it was just this cabin here when I first got here, and you can see through walls and everything. This is your home? This is my home. So I got this because my family, my kids lived in eastern Oregon. Oh. And my first wife and I had split. And so I wanted to be near them and, you know, raise them. So I moved up here. Are you a little bit obsessed with trees? <laughs> I like them. We built tree houses when we were kids, but not like these. I always figured I was going to do something here. I waited a while until my family grew up and stuff, and then I decided to go for it. So this was the first. It's a treehouse cottage. It's separate from this. It's on just on those four trees right there. And uh, the bridge is still standing. Are you going in? Yeah. Ta-da! Enter. That's some French doors. It's all TNG, and tongue and groove, and, and cedar tops, and pine through here. A little uh, loft up top for the kids. The bathroom's right here. Just a small bathroom. But you have a it's conventional all. toilet. Yeah, that's conventional. Yeah, this is all goes into septic system. You, you got to have them all permitted and everybody licensed. You have to have a licensed carpenters, plumbers, electricians, engineer, all that. So the city came down, let me know that right away. The cottage. So finally got going with one and that wasn't enough. And to do it, you know, and, and to have people here and I needed two or three. And then actually you need a couple more to really do what I want to do. This is a Calypso. And we have a lot of Calypso bulb and orchids over here growing. It's all been engineered and it's all steel and, and there's limbs at the bottom on both trees and there's a limit straight up at the top. And then that steel bracket that, that goes across, that steel support, mm -hmm. there's a bushing in that where the limb goes through it and it goes into the tree up there. So those things just kind of move like this in the weather so it, it keeps the tree on pretty straight. And they just roll with the tree. We have a lady coming in, it's a little mathematic, so for the weather, we're going to try to put a little yeah. filter in there for her and air conditioning. How did you pick the spot? <clears throat> you walk around and find trees that'll work. You got four trees too close together that are big enough, you might go there, you know, and everything's designed to work for the trees you use. Every tree's different and all that, so it's pretty much, you know, pretty hard to use like plants for another one over here, the same one. It's all different. This thing doesn't even really need air conditioner. It stays tight. Well, it's more or less keep the filtering the If you air. keep this closed, it stays tight in here. Love this tree here in the middle. Isn't that nice? Isn't awesome? It's pretty nice, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Did you go for the, you were trying to get a tree in the middle? Yeah, you have to, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. On this, two, this design here, there's one through the deck and one here. Sometimes it has sap issues, but other than that, it's really awesome. One day it will stop. It's, uh, it shoots out of these limbs. They cut them off too short. That's what I've been told. So it'll shoot way out, two or three feet way out here. Sap here sometimes. And it's been doing it for a couple of years now. Figured it would stop, but it hasn't yet. Like every time the tree blows or wind goes, you know, I mean, it'll just shoot out of certain areas. You can just see it just drips here. It just was cut a little short, maybe. It might have sealed. Hopefully someday it does. <laughs> do you love uh, tree houses as much as, you know, do you just fall into it, marry it? I guess I didn't uh, ask her much. I just went ahead and did it. <laughs> <laughs> she got stuck here. I know, I was the one that got stuck with all the, <laughs> she got the stuck details. With all the other uh, yeah, obviously. I was doing the details. The, the detail work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, there's another big bug over there, Jody. What? Oh, <gasps> he's far, a locust. They, they joke far though. Yeah. When I'm cleaning with one of those in here, I have to constantly keep my eye on it. So I'm like, takes forever to clean. Like, ah. <laughs> he's a locust, isn't he? I don't know what it is, but he jumps hard. You, you know your nature, right? Yeah. You want to? You want some evidence of that? <laughs> he's all. It's nice. You're up here. You got a good view. It's like being out on by the ocean or something, but in the trees. This is the shiitake. Jody named it the shiitake. She wanted to name it the matsutake because there's so many of those mushrooms around, right? And people come here to pick them every year. You know, everybody hikes these hills. And this was kind of a Chinese style, you know, or a, I wanted my roof to be out like that, more structured like that. I, grew, I drew this hanging from three trees. 
with a big hook like at the top yeah. with maybe big anchors for ships you know and that's kind of what I wanted to have it do but the engineer was thinking they might got not go for that you know okay. so the, the county and you know the inspectors and all I wanted it kind of like hanging from three like a chain so it would move and have a swinging bridge to it you know, I'd had to go like from this tree to that tree to that one, maybe four trees with big hangers. So it would move a little, you know. So anyway, we put it on the tree. And that tree, it's gotten bigger since. And it's all steel reinforced, built with steel in the roof and steel in the bottom of it. You know, with a, a limb that goes all the way through this way and one other one on the bottom goes through that way. And this one's got the tree going right through the center also. Yeah, and then there's like a bushings in there and bearings where it goes in and, and it just kind of moves freely. Hello. Here we go. So is it a two-story? Yeah. Well, there's two lofts up here, beds. There's that. There you go. So you come up. And then you're way up here. When you're up here looking out that window, you're just another 10 foot up or so. And no background of, in terms of drawing or no just no not very good at it even so <laughs> it wasn't a problem at all bringing plumbing this high up it was a lot of work really yeah every one of these trails has got plumbing and electric in it all the way up and down there's like two foot whatever of holes down inside those trails we hand cut all this we cleared all this out here hand cut all those trails you know with pick and shovels and dug the holes it was on a slope, so you really couldn't use a ditch witcher or anything like that. So we hand picked them all the way down and all the way up. And we went right over to here, and then they, we shot straight up here for this one. We came right up right down there and came up underneath, and there's an electrical box and, and all that. So the plumbing goes straight back down and down that ditch and all the way down the trail to right past my house where the septic system new one is put in. A lot of work. And the infrastructure of this place is, is like very expensive, probably as much as all the tree houses or more. So I've been working on it for years. See this? I'm going to have to widen all this here this year, build a wider frame around that tree. So the hole's still open about, you know, two, three inches or so all the way around. But I just got to build a new cradle here. It's getting tight. I'll probably take that apart this year, this winter, and build a new one there, frame around it. It's, it's all well built, strong, you know. Yeah. Not going anywhere. This little baby holds it up. Look, like somebody's been scraping off my tree. I don't like that. Oh, that's weird. Do you worry about the house? It's just the spreading. Tree? Yeah, always. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, it's alive. Of... It's live, definitely. You know? You give it a hug when you come here. Make sure she's all right. These trees now support, you know, they get more attention for sure. You know, people come in and they touch the trees. And uh, I can't tell you exactly, but they do, they speak to you. They do. This is the next best thing to the ocean. The forest, the mountains, you know, they're all nature, part of it. Mm. I like it because it's up high and back here in solitude. It's not a boat in a tree, but when they're moving and the wind's blowing, it creaks just like being on a wooden boat. I've been waiting a little while to get to another one. It's getting pretty awesome and, uh, and it's just the sky's the limit, you know. We fought over the name of the shiitake, right? Yeah. Now I want the sky palace with just the bed up with skylights over the top. The sky palace. I just needed a break from it. And then I'll go for it again. Find me some trees. <laughs>